password. They protect our phones, emails, work and personal lives. Yep, passwords rule our world. Imagine that, like the, the very, very first time we used passwords was a machine in a room where maybe half a dozen people were using it. Today, passwords play a more critical role in our lives. The average person is juggling around a hundred passwords across sites and services. And as passcode restrictions get more complex, a third of people find password changes as stressful as retiring. Apple Orchard, Banana Cat Dance, age six, six, three. What the hell is that? That's my password. But as critical as they are, new research shows we still aren't taking them seriously enough. Apparently millions of us have passcodes that could just be hacked in seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, ranked most popular in the world, taking hackers less than a second to guess. Band came in top in Australia, crackable in under two minutes. Other highly hackable Aussie faves were admin, ABC123, and the oh-so-subtle password. There's definitely some complacency there. I think what people are thinking is all I want to do is I want to go and buy that t-shirt or book that movie ticket and someone has put a barrier in my way. The revelation made extra concerning as cybercrime rises 23% year on year in Australia. One reported, ready, every six minutes. People don't expect these cybersecurity incidents to happen. And of course, once they do, you can't roll that clock back. You've already got that same lousy password that's now going to be taken and your other website things logged into. But despite their dominance right now, many are already on the way out. What we're seeing with, with passwords is a combination of things that either replace it or augment it. Things like biometrics, using your finger to log on to something like my PC here or using your face to log on to something like an iPhone. The traditional password is kicking and screaming on the way out. <laughs> oh, that's my password, kicking and screaming. Oh, <laughs> damn, <laughs> damn. Capital K, capital S. Oh, I hope that it is actually going, not raging, into that quiet night because I hate passwords. Mm -hmm. I want them to cease to exist. Really? They are the bane of my existence. Why do you make me change my password and then you go, I change one single thing. It says, no, that's too similar to your old password. And then it says you have to have 14 different characters and then this and this and this. And I'm like, no, I can't have that and I can't have it be different for all of the accounts and, that and I have. And do not write it down anywhere near where your computer might be. It is unrealistic. You know my favourite thing is when you log into a new account on a new website or something and it goes to set up a password. Mm. And it says, would you like this gobbledygook of 27 <laughs> different letters yes. and characters? And you go, no. I'll enter my own and you start and it goes, pretty weak. Pretty weak. <laughs> pretty weak. Or it says you have to, it's like, oh, I forgot my password. I enter it in and it's like, oh, no, I forgot. Okay, I'll reset it. And then I put it in and said, that's your old password. You can't have that. I was like, why did you make me reset? Wow. But she's sorry. sorry. Uh, this is so you can protect your you data do, so people can't hack. Take it, take it. So I don't care. Yeah, have, have your, it all. Have it all. Your I emails, don't... your bank, you don't want to protect that? No. Nah, okay, really. well, how about this? Do you let your family or your friends or your partners know your passwords? Yeah. Really? My, my partner knows, yeah, my partner yeah, knows everything truth. and I know so all in my house, uh, myself, uh, my wife and my daughter, we all know each other's passwords to get into each other's devices. Yeah. Just in case you have to or is that just kind of... Is it oh, just the on the other side or? of the house. What's your need to get into the thing? <laughs> What's your passcode? What about you, Suze? Are you... Yeah, yeah, I share my, my phone password with my partner, yeah. Really? I do. But I had a friend who, uh, who all of their passwords were, you're never going to get this. <laughs> <laughs> My friend is not Borat, but uh, that was definitely my friend's password. Well, my, well, in seriousness, my issue with, as much as I like the, the thumbprint, which I have for yeah. uh, my laptop yeah. and uh, face, face ID yeah. is a nice one. The thing is, like, legitimately, if, if, I, if something was to happen and I'm away or I need mm. to get to my computer or, you know, it's, uh, if something was to happen and, and my family need to get into any of my devices, mm. I need them to know what the password is. No, 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 we've taken a cast of your thumbprint. It's totally wrong. <laughs> I was going to say, because, so, you know, I know people who much. say, oh, you know, if you ever need them, yeah. Yeah. I've got all my passwords in, a, in the top drawer of my desk or something. It's buried oh, in and the also backyard. I've severed my thumb <laughs> and ripped out an eyeball and I've bequeathed it to you in the will. I'd prefer that. Yeah. Now